Okay, uh, so my name is Bandhali Thakur and today uh, I'm going to teach you the basics of Odissi dance, just the basics like uh, the positions and everything. It's a classical dance form so obviously uh, you need a lot of practice over the years to do it but I'm, I'll just try to sum up the basics for you so you can understand for yourself if you want to um, carry on with the dance, learn it nicely. One more time. From the beginning, everybody please turn on your camera so I can see you and uh, help you through it. So, um, again, one more time we will go. First, we will pick the, the left leg, hit. With that, our hands are here. So, you're doing one. Open, right leg forward, full circle, left leg joins. This is our namaskar. Then, legs turn outwards, take the hands up, come down, come down, go down, Chakra Hasta, take the blessings to our eyes and our head, come up and then with our right leg, go back and Namaskar. Okay, so after Bhumi Pranam, we uh, mostly do we have two types of exercises in Odyssey that we have to practice before any uh, any uh, session that we do. It's called the warm up. Okay, so there are two types of exercises. One is uh, sound exercises and one is soundless exercises. So uh, there are a lot of these, but I will teach you only three. Okay, so sound exercises are basically what the name suggests. Uh, exercises that have sound that call, make sound and soundless are the exercises which do not make sound obviously. So uh, to begin with, we will uh, first do the soundless exercises. So for the first one, we basically just we do the squats. What we are going to do is we are going to stand straight with uh, our hands turned like this on our hips and we are going to turn our feet out like we did during Namaskar, we are going to turn our feet out. Okay. Take both of our hands forward, join, okay, like interlock our fingers, take our thumbs up like this and join. We will just sit with the sports and come up, okay. So five, six, seven, start. One, at the count of eight, you have to go down. So five, six, seven, start. One, two, three, four. See, I'm half sitting. At the count of four, by the next four, I will sit down full. Five, six, seven, eight. Full sit, our heels up on our toes. This is the first soundless exercise. Again, we have to get, get up at eight counts. We will go one, two. Basically, what you have to do is put force on your uh, thighs so that try to think like you're pushing the float. So your heels will go down gradually and by the force of that, you will uh, come up basically. Okay. So we will just hold like this and we will try to think of pushing the floor down and with that you will get up. Think of pushing the floor down. 5, 6, 7, start. 1, 2, 3, 4, half, 5, 6, 7, 8, straight. Okay. We will do that four times. This is the first sweep at the count of eight. Five, six, seven, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this was the first speed when you go down at the count of eight. Then the, there's the second speed, which is basically you go down at the count of four, 
and come up at four. This exercise is extremely important because it helps you build uh, strength in your legs, which is very important for our Odyssey dancer because all of our steps use legs. So it's extremely important to uh, practice this one. So we will do the last speed, which is like you will go down at the count of one and come up at one. Matlab six thala basically. So you will go like five, six, seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. It's called the ankle stretch. So we have to stretch our ankles, right? Because there are so many steps on ankles, and we don't want to hurt them. So it's pretty simple. This one. What you have to do is concentrate on my legs, on my feet, actually. What you have to do? I'll show you from the side. You have to slowly take your weight forward on your toes, then bring them back and take it on your heels. Okay, this is what you have to continuously do. What you have to do is, at the count of four, you slowly go up. Okay, on your toes, you will go up. Go up like this. Then come down and go on your heels. Again, toe and heels. And toe, this is what you have to do. But at the count, so five, six, seven, start. One, two, three, four. On your toes. Five, six, seven, eight. Now on your heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Second speed, which is take up four, take it up on two counts, take it down on two counts. Okay. So here you go. Five, six, seven, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And wow, oh my god, I'm also falling. Okay, this is a little tricky. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and th this even has a third speed, which is just like five, six, seven, start. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we will have number three, which is a stretch. Basically, it's a leg stretch. You stretch your thighs because it's very important. So what you're doing that, you uh, sit in a maha chauk position, which is like with your feet, firstly your feet turned away, away like this and make it big, okay, sit like this. So you sit in a big chauk position, which I'll teach you the different leg position. So you make a big chauk and your legs are turned opposite sides like this, okay. So you sit, you take your hands forward like this and then what you have to do is you have to drop one knee to the floor and stretch the other leg it's very easy it's actually like hold this but hurts a little so five six also at the count of eight first the first beat so five six seven start one i'm doing on my left side first one two three four stretching it stretching it close point okay Oh, don't uh, don't touch your knees, okay? Forward, and then you have to get up. But when you get up, you remember to get up on the chow. Don't get up fully. Get up on the chow position, like a half sit kind of position. Like this. So you're holding this, five, six, seven, start. One, two, three, four. By the first one you do it, you realize the difference you need to make in your legs, okay? So five, six, seven, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, 
this was the first speed now we have to go to the second speed it's a little faster it will be the springboard jump as we call it uh, what you have to do is pretty simple you have to join your legs together like this and you have to also join your hands okay because of the camera will sit and show you have to join your hands like this like this put your head between them don't be like this don't be like this put your head between them and join them straight okay like a sword like this so feet joined and hands also joined like this then just simply jump just use your toes and jump as high as you can as high and when you're jumping you remember that uh, your toes are pointed understood if and if there are any questions you can ask me swarna so uh, basically keep your hands up and when you jump remember to take your toes uh, toes to be pointed okay so 5 6 7 start 1 okay so first we will do it at the count of 8 then 4 1 okay so 5 6 7 start 1 2 Three, four. I said, uh, let's do it at the count of four only because it's for eight counts. It's pretty simple for eight counts. We'll do it at the count of four. So what we're doing is we will hold the hands like this. Five, six, seven, and start. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Okay, is uh, the double leg jump. Okay, so I will show you from the camera turn. So explain to you how it is like. Basically, you hold your hands again, interlock your fingers, put your thumb up, and turn around. What do you remember? What you have to remember to do is both of your legs will hit your back side. Okay, that is very important. Put your hands also forward. Okay, let me show you by the side. So this, and then your uh, both your legs will. Keep your back side, okay. And when they do, remember to keep them like this. Five, six, seven, start. And one, two, three, four. 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 And one. Okay. This is the first beat. Turn it out. Okay. Open from the hip. Open them from the hip. Don't be like this. Don't turn around. Go go like this. Stay, stay. Push your hips in front. Push it forward in a normal stance. Like your body is forming like a one, like a line, one straight line. Keep your hands like this and turn your feet outwards, basically. Like this, it will happen. This. So take it like this. Not stuff, but it will happen. And then you have to remember to have a gap of three fists, three of your fists between your leg. Okay, so you will go one fist, two fist, three fist. You you find out how much that is for you, your own fist, and make sure there's a gap of that between both of your legs. It's very important this happens, so you have to measure it and figure it out. It's very important, and then you will. Bend down, straight. Okay, bend. So take it. There, take the position. Make sure there's a three fist gap between your legs. Take your hands like this and go down. Bend down. Sit. Both of your hands will be straight, like in a line. Okay, they will be straight like this. You have to take them like this. If you see, the both the arms are parallel to the floor. They're not like this. They're not like this. They're straight. straight elbows up elbows up and straight and uh, the from the elbow to the palms it will also be straight and it would be at right angle it will be a right angle forming here and then a right angle forming here two right angles okay and our, so our legs are like this you sitting down head up don't take your uh, shoulders up or down to do like this Take it straight. Okay, you will look like a king. What is chicken? So uh, take them straight like this. And the uh, number one chalk is just jumping. Okay, so you have to sit like this. You have to jump. 
and when they jump they have to remember that there's this uh, roof over our heads so we can't jump too high what we have to do is we have to take our legs up legs up and down okay don't bounce basically don't be like this how to take this straight and just one push the floor take yourself up and come down and remember there's a roof over your head so you can't go too high up how to stay low okay so first you will do at the count of four so five six seven start one two three four and 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 one in the chow position we are in the chow position you sit our elbows are up shoulder is parallel to the ground so we are at height and what we will do is we will go one so we will start with right leg and with that our right hand will come in and out so we are here we'll go one two three four and left two three four and right two three four and left two three four and right two three four and left two three four we are in this position and we are just sitting we are not taking it up down going like this nothing we are in the same position I'm just taking two, three, four, and back. The weight is equally distributed between both of your legs. The weight is on both of your legs, and it will remain like that. All you have to do is momentarily take the leg up and down, up and down. Hmm. What we have to do? Sit in top position. Three fist gap between your legs. Bend, bend low. Shoulder up. Elbows up, right angles. Sit, five, six, seven. Start. Five, two, three, four, and left. Two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, and left. Two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, and left. Two, three, four, and back. One of the main steps of what is yoga. So, our legs are. in choke sit in choke and with that first you will put your right leg heel like this don't take it out like this don't straighten it don't bring it close wherever it is there only you just take the heel okay so 5 6 7 start 1 then you will tap the left leg We'll take the weight on the right, which is in heel position. We'll do one. So it goes one, two, three, one, left, sorry, right, and bring back the heel. Heel tap back. Heel tap back. Heel tap back. Heel tap. Back. Heel, tap You have to remember that while you are doing this, your body will not be like, you know, like this. The weight should not be shifting. Your your body from uh, your till your hip bone, this portion, will remain straight, intact, in one center, and the legs will do all the work. Sit on your chow for chow position. Take your hands like this, to in your bellies. Five, six. Seven. Start. First, right hand and right leg. Heel. Tap. Tap. Hands above your heads. Again. Bring it this way. Bring your right hand back, but the left leg is working. Okay. Heel. Tap. Tap. Okay. Five, six, seven. Start. Heel. Tap. Tap. Heel. Tap. Tap. Now the left hand. And the right leg. Okay. Five, six, seven. Start. Heel tap tap. 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 Heel tap tap.
ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta the first step is basically you are in chalk again but this time first one you will uh, tap the right leg one next one you will broaden it means uh, widen sorry so you go one a little bigger then you will take your left leg behind the right leg in this you take it like this okay put your toe down like this so and then put the weight on the heel go back to chalk you understand that it's a little tough so i'll explain it again chalk right leg right and right leg left toe behind right leg and chalk again so five six seven start right leg other right leg left behind right now left side left hit jordan right behind left and stop 1234 okay again slowly so here we go 5 6 7 start body was same my legs are facing outwards there's a gap between my legs my knees are bent so let's learn the first tribhangi step which is very simple you sit on tribhangi and you basically just tap your right foot whichever foot uh, is in front you tap that you go 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 Four and one, two, three. You see the uh, head is also tilted. Head will be tilted outwards. Now, the whichever leg is uh, in front, the head will go opposite to it. So, five, six, seven, start. One, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one. Okay. Now the uh, left. was the right leg so same position left leg in front whole weight on the right leg sit down like this and 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 and 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 1 not your shoulders nothing else just your rib cage is moving okay 5 6 Seven in the bhangi position. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, 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 and one. Similarly, this side also will happen. Go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two. Three, four, and one, two, three, four. So after that, you will do the the number two of Tribhangi, which is pretty simple too. You go to Tribhangi position on the right side, sit down on Tribhangi position like this, and then uh, first your uh, the leg which is in front, the leg which doesn't have any weight, that will leg will first go toe. It will go toe, just right beside your uh, back leg. You will keep the toe, and then you will keep the heel. Toe and heel. Toe and heel. This is how it will happen. Okay. So first you take your um, joint legs. Both of your legs are joined. Take them, make them opposite. Both of your legs, both of your legs together. Then turn both of your legs outwards. Both of your legs outwards. Straight body. Then take your right leg in front, just a little bit, just a little bit. 
not too much you take it like this just a little bit small and then bend both your knees sit down sit down put all your weight on the back leg sit down and then it will move 5 6 7 start 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 out just a little bit just a little bit take like the take a leg left leg in front just a little bit and then put all your weight on the right leg then bend down bend down and then you go 5 6 7 start yes your uh, head will move in opposition so whichever leg is in front you tilt your head the opposite side like this so you go 5 6 7 start toe and and toe and heel and toe and heel and toe and heel okay you will keep your hand straight like i told you in a right angle hold up your elbows hold up your elbows now listen listen hold up your elbows make it straight parallel okay like this yeah No, do do one thing as well. Your first, first, raise your hand up. Bring it down like this. Make it fall for front. That's it. Now pick your arm, palm up. This this is the position. Okay. Okay. So this is the first mudra. I'm sure many of you already know. This is called pataka. What is it called? pataka okay straight all your fingers are straight tri pataka tri 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 pataka everything joined everything joined tri pataka ardha pataka yes all fingers just this one also close ardha pataka kartari mukha what is that you will separate both of these fingers kartari mukha yes so from the beginning again pataka tri pataka ardha pataka like a gun it's like a gun ardha pataka kartari mukha okay kartari mukha then there is mayura how is mayura take take uh, your ring finger down like this and then join your thumb with it put your thumb like this hold it with your thumb hold it with your thumb yes this is mayura like the peacock mayura mayura so again pataka tri pataka ardha pataka kartari mukha mayura ardha chandra arala sukha tund yes mushti very easy just a punch mushti shikhara like a like button Okay, so these are all the Asamyukta uh, Hastas. I'm going to teach you today. Again, from the beginning, Pataka, Tri Pataka, Ardha Pataka, Kartari Mukha, Mayura. अर्ध चंद्र अराला 
सुखतुंड मुष्ठी शिकन यस दैट इज द कम्यू तो हाथ ऑफ की प्रॉब्लम देर आर सो मेनी ऑफ देम वी हैव ओनली टू मिनट्स लेफ्ट एंड वी हैव पद भेदास व्हिच इज बेसिकली द डिफरेंट फीट पोजीशंस दैट वी हैव देन वी हैव हेड पोजीशंस देन वी हैव चेस्ट पोजीशंस एंड वी हैव सो मेनी ऑफ दीस सो इफ यू वांट टू रियली लर्न और यू से यू हैव टू लर्न ऑल ऑफ दिस वन बाय वन You have to learn chalk. Uh, you have to learn sitangi. You have to learn hand position, feet positions, head positions, chest position. All of these you will learn. Then you will learn uh, choreographies basically. So um, obviously classical dance takes a lot of time, but this is a small uh, things that we learn. So what? Let's sum up all, all the things that we learn today. We learn the kumi prana. Then we learn the sound exercises. What are the sound exercises we learned? Sound exercises we learned the uh, double leg jump, like this. We learned the double leg jump. Okay. Then we learned the springboard jump. Okay. Then we learned the sound exercises, soundless exercises. I'm sorry. Uh, which is the squat. then we learn the ankle stretch so you go up and down and back and front then we learn the sorry then we learn the stretch where you will sit in a big chalk then you will go on side stretch then you will come up go second stretch stretch So this is the soundless exercises. Then we learn choke. We learn the choke position, which is like this. We learn four steps in the choke position, like this. Then we have the tribhangi, which is like this. And then we learn the hand movements. So I hope you liked uh, today's class. in order if you want to learn odyssey um you can learn it from me and uh, for that you can enquire at piggy ride okay and we will arrange the class i think and therefore uh, that's it hope you like the class okay bye for today